Hi, it's Christian from Solatec Solutions and in this video I'm going to show you how to import a DWG file and use that as your symbol in SolidWorks Electrical. Let's go ahead and click on Library again and Symbol Manager. Okay, once in the Symbol Manager um, what we can do is um, on the top here we can see we've got the option to import DWG files. So let's Go ahead and import them. Next, I've got the option to add a directory or add files. So if you've got a directory with uh, multiple customized symbols and you want to import them into SolidWorks or yeah, SolidWorks Electrical, you can do that straight away. I'm just gonna show you to, how to add one file. Got one over here, AutoCAD Electrical symbol, um, just because I had it laying around. And as you can see, um, SolarWorks Electrical automatically picks that up. Now, this import configuration only, um, you can create your own ones. So you can pretty much select no configuration at all. And then you have to map the attributes from your symbol to the SolarWorks Electrical symbol. You only have to do that once, because after you've done that, you can pretty much save that as your own configuration. And then all the rest will happen automatically. So I will just select AutoCAD Electrical and click Next. And we have to assign a class to the actual symbol. So let's do that. If I select it, we can now see over here that we've got an emergency stop um, with a key. So we are going to look for that. Let's have a look, not on the switches. I think it's circuit breakers. Here we go. No. Underneath buttons and switches and select emergency. Sometimes it's a bit of a look around. So once we've selected that, you can also select a library. So I want to associate that to this um, IEC 617 standard symbols library. So I'm going to select that as well and click next. Now this is what I mean. And this is why you want to use a import configuration file because you can see the attributes um, used by AutoCAD electrical and those are the attributes used by SolidWorks Electrical. So also if you import or export symbols out of your program that you've used before, you have to map them to the SolidWorks Electrical um, attributes. It can do that automatically as you can see over here. Um, I usually prefer to delete them and, and place them again myself. Um, but let's just go ahead and, and do, not, um, do nothing for some of these symbols and replace for the other ones. Um, so as you can see, the tag one is, is, is a very important one, whereas those user descriptions here are also very important, so they are, they are still there. So let's go ahead and click Next. I don't need to save my configuration, but this is the point where you, if you um, haven't, if you selected no configuration beforehand, you do want to save it over here so you can use that again. Okay, simply hit finish and I'm just gonna get rid of my filter here and you can see that my symbol has been imported over there. Now the square brackets over here mean that the um, symbol doesn't have any description. So let's go ahead and first create a description here. Um, actually, we can just place that over here. And I always like to add my initials so that I know which ones I've actually created. <clears throat> okay, let's go ahead and click OK. Uh, we can now simply double click the symbol um, to add it. Here it is. Now, as soon as we added the symbol, we can see that um, some of my Attributes have already been replaced by SolidWorks Electrical. So we've got our function and location tag and the actual position of my symbol. <clears throat> Excuse me. We also got the cross references and um, some manufacturing data over here as well. Now, what we are going to do is I like to delete them. So I'm just going to delete all of this. You don't have to, again, um, see the these things are not associated to any attributes yet, so they can be deleted as well. 
I like to just stay behind with just a nice clean symbol. Okay, so we've got the symbol over here. Um, again, turn on the snap, turn on the grid, and let's move this symbol up a bit. And rotate that as well. Just gonna rotate that straight up, like so. Okay, so we're left with just a symbol. What we're going to do now is um, we can see there is still a circuit defined here, circuit zero, so that's great, but it's associated with the a black box. Now we don't want that to be associated with a black box because it's going to be a um, switch. So if I drop this down, there is a normally closed contact. That's the one we're going to use and it's disconnectable that's good so again as i said in my previous videos um they you set you set the circuit here so that solidworks electrical will do a double check for us when we associate that to a part let's add it the symbol um left click on the circuit insert a connection point right mouse button to rotate and place same thing again for the bottom place that and this is pretty similar now to um to my other video that i made previous um last week insert some attributes um let's add some user data here as well maybe even some manufacturing data Here we go. Again, once we're finished, um, insert the click on the insertion point to make sure that it's set to the middle. So if you insert the symbol, your mouse um, or the symbol is connected here um, to the mouse. Now I just simply save this and close this off. We can now open up a any schematic. Insert a symbol. Now we now created a the emergency stop. We can again search for or filter on it, but if we go here to the emergency, here is the one that I've just inserted or created. And we can just simply place that in there. And maybe And as you can see over here, all the data has, mapped, has been mapped as well. That's it for this week's video. See you all next week.